Welcome to Averno City. It may look peaceful from here, but trust me, it's rotten to the bone. That's where we come in, Averno's finest. We swore an oath to protect this city, to look out for the citizens walking those streets below. There's bad guys, and there's good guys, and then there's us, all balancing on a knife edge, fighting each other just to survive. But it's a fight we're losing, and everybody knows it. We're understaffed, underpaid, and overworked. Worse than that, we got targets on our backs, and every low-life punk and thug thinks they can take aim. Heck, a few of us might even deserve those targets. Not all of Averno's finest are that fine. We got our fair share of rot, too. What good is an oath of honor if you got no honor to betray? But me, I believe in the badge. That chunk of metal means something. And hey, some days the good guys come out on top. But most days, most days not so much. All the while, the fight rages on. The lucky ones get a flag and a plaque. The unlucky ones get a flag and a 21-gun salute. Why do we do it? Truth is, for some of us, it's all we know. But for others, it's in our blood. And they remain at large. Chandler, Sayers, you're covering downtown. Keep them peeled. These guys and- You got a bus. All right, I know you're dying to- Can't wait. But before you all charge it- Bah! Where's Bo Peep when you need- Yeah, I could tell you where she- This officer graduated from the- Yeah, that and 50 cents will get you- And Nick- What? No way. Will obviously have some big shoes. Jesus, what- Seriously? They assigned him- Kowalski, if I may, I don't have to tell anyone in here. I especially don't have to- Every single one of you. I don't care what you're on it or hard on him. And Cordell, you're- Yes, sir. Crystal, sir. Absolutely, sir. Thank you, officer. Watch, Commander. Appreciate Chief, Sergeant Kelly, the rook's with you. I pulled the last one. Why do you think I'm giving you- Because I did something in a past life? You did something. <laughs> I'll... Uh. All right, squad. Let's get out there and make a Verno City proud. Yes, ma'am. Time to pound pavement. Come on, Rook. Let's go for a drive. Want to go catch some bad guys? Welcome to the ACPD, kid. Time for our first mission. Oh, and uh, don't worry about the fellas. They like to act tough, but that's just... You learn all kinds of fancy driving at the academy, but for now, let's just take it slow and steady. Don't want to scratch the paint job on your first day. Swing by the hot dog stand in Chinatown. There's a parking bay there. Good job, rookie. Time for some chow. Ah, tube steak. Breakfast of champions. How'd you take yours, kid? The works. A maximalist. I can respect that. What's the damage, Fareed? Leo, my friend. For you, no charge. Fareed, you old softy. You earn that tip every time, don't you? Ah, breathe it in, kid. Best part of the day. Besides, you can't patrol on an empty stomach. You know, your old man liked his dogs too. Ah, of course you do. We came up to the academy together. Took different paths when we got on the force though. He wasn't gonna let anything get in his way. And me, well, let's just say, water finds its level. 
And my level is, uh, easy mode. Central to all units, bank robbery in progress. Mercer ACB Bank on Mercer Street, shots fired. Ah, Christ on a crutch. Another beautiful moment ruined. Oh well, that's what they're paying us for, right? Central, this is Unit 84, responding code 3. 10484, be advised, suspects are heavily armed. Approach with caution. Okay, kid. You wanted the real deal? This is it. One warning. If they don't throw them down, we take them down. Get ready. Police! Freeze! Drop your weapon! Hold on. Doesn't look like they're gonna give us a choice. Light them up! in the ACTV Eye in the Sky, the number one news chopper in Averno City. We're downtown where police are engaged in a fierce shootout following yet another bank robbery. It's not clear yet whether this is the notorious August gang or... Uh, hold on. There's movement at the back of the building. More criminals coming out. They're boarding a vehicle. It's a dark van and it... Oh my goodness. Keep it tuned to ACTV, folks. Looks like we're in for a police pursuit. Close the gap, boot. 1088 vehicle pursuit! Invitation? Arrest them! Eighty four to Central. We got a ten fifteen. Pursuit has been terminated. Copy that, eighty four. All units stand down. I repeat, stand down. Whew, you did good, kid. Not everyone handles a pursuit like that on their first day. Just relax, will ya?
Come on, Cordell. There's someone I want you to meet. You got this kid. Mean Gene, what's today's major malfunction? Oh, the usual. Misfiled evidence, sloppy dockets, illegible handwriting, contaminated evidence. I'm surprised some of your friends here made it out of grade school. Cordell, meet Eugene, our evidence guy. Eugene Papadopoulos, at your service. Did Kelly try the old, you drive, my hip hurts routine on you yet? Hey! <laughs> Thought so. He doesn't tend to lift a finger unless there's a gun drawn or a chance he might get pizza. Anyway, my job's to know where everything is. Which basically means tracking down whatever you humps, misfile, mislabel, or otherwise misplace. Uh, we do our best. Oh, I'm well aware of this unit's, uh, limitations. Anyway, when you collect any evidence, you come see me. I'll make sure it's safe. You're a peach, Gene. Never change. Wasn't planning on it. All right, kid. You did good today. But that won't mean a fart in a windstorm tomorrow. I'm out of here. I'll see you in the morning. Unless I die in my sleep. God, that sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Morning, Cortell. Tidy work yesterday. Keep that up and you'll be leaving Kelly in the dust before he even has time to retire. Love you too, Kowalski. I know we dropped you right into the thick of it on your first day, but fundamentals are important too. What she means to say is that parking tickets are how the city pays the bills. Come on, Kelly. You know that isn't true. This city hasn't paid its bills in years. Regardless, today is going to be about old-fashioned police work. You're going to walk a beat and maybe straighten out a little bit of this bent old city. Check your handbook for the violations to look out for. Let's go clean up the streets. Let's go find some parking violations. There are six different parking violations to look for. Blocking a hydrant, Parking in the opposite direction of traffic. Too close to a crossing or on the sidewalk. Oh, and of course, parking in the no parking zone. Oh, and don't forget expired parking meters. Just be sure a vehicle is parked illegally before issuing a ticket. You can't take it back. 
Ah, here's one. Can you see what parking violation this bozo is committing? Good job. The handbook shows all the violation types. Come on, let's check some parking meters. People are allowed to use parking bays until the meter expires. When you inspect the meter, zero minutes remaining means it has expired. It's worth checking the meters at bays that are in use. There's a lot of people who don't like to pay their dues these days. Is it expired? Give him a ticket. Hey, you're getting the hang of this ticketing. You'll come across different crimes as you walk your beat. You could be issuing parking tickets one minute, then chasing an armed thug the next. My advice, be prepared for anything. You're a natural! Let's carry on. Got eyes on a vandal. Go handle it, kid. We have a graffiti vandalism down here. Received. Hey, take it easy. Let's carry on. Got eyes on a vandal. Go handle it, kid. Vandal at work in my patrol sector. Received. Excellent. That handbook will help you stick to the rules. We should check for any more spray can bandits nearby. Graffiti is a type of vandalism, and only warrants a fine. Picasso there surrendered as soon as he saw us, so we didn't need to arrest him. That said, some criminals like to try their luck. They might throw a few punches, or they might take off. Both of those are arrestable offenses. Even if the initial crime only warrants a fine, once a perp commits an arrestable crime, you gotta make the arrest. Yes. Central, be advised of property vandalism in our vicinity. Get your baton out, partner! Ah! Assaulting a cop? That's a serious offense. You have the right to remain silent. Let's get back to the scene and make that arrest. Call an escort unit to take our suspect to the precinct. Let's walk back to the station, but keep our eyes peeled.
Break can bandits in action. Copy that. You have the right to remain silent. Every arrest counts, even the petty ones. Might as well escort this brain box ourselves. 